Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel Deb Chanel Sport Eats World and I am Deb Chanel. Happy Monday. Happy, happy, happy Monday. Do your best that you can and be the best that you can. Okay. And I want to say thank you to all my subscribers to my channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing for the ones that are still thinking, pondering or being perplexed. Make sure you come on over here. Stop the dialogue. Stop the thinking if you should or if you shouldn't. Come on over here for all your gossip news and entertainment. All right. Things that you can use and use and ponder on from time to time. And we're going to go into uh, the Urban Bell Mag dot magazine article that uh, none other than I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. It doesn't give me um, the title of the person who wrote the article but i'm sure it was mrs niles because she's always over there doing something or another but we're just gonna say a correspondent of the urban bell mag magazine dot com uh constituent all right she gives us a title of merit to medicine star dr heavenly climbs or kimes or kims some think it's kims uh respond to backlash okay Yes, backlashes of her talking too much, probably her getting on her coat, uh, stars, nerves, something to that effect. Okay, she don't did something. Hold on, guys. Okay, but well, let's go on and get on into this salacious, slanderous, sensational story. Okay, all of it's allegedly. You know that's what you get over here. We just family. We talk about things. We discuss things, and then we put our own opinions on it, and then we leave it right there. Okay, it's a family affair over here. That's how we get down. But yes, we're going to be talking about Doctor uh, Kim's or Kimes or however it is that we pronounce her name. But anyway. She goes into her article and she says, Dr. Heavenly uh, Kims, uh, Kimes has one of the biggest personalities of the Merit to Medicine cast. That's a very exciteful, eventful, embellished way of saying Dr. Uh, Dr. Heavenly's personality stinks, but people like it. They enjoy her banter and it just is what it is. Okay, nothing truly exciting about her personality when she's putting people down all the time. Okay, and, and, and only liking one person all the time. Okay, like they have no flaws, no faults, no qualms about them. They're just straight up everyday good people. And she's, I'm referring to Dr. Um, Jackie. Uh, that's how Dr. Uh, Heavenly has put her on the stage of events of looking at Dr. Jackie. Okay. She's the epitome of excellence in all of her doings. All of her dwellings. Just is what it is. Okay. That's my sidebar. It's not in this article. Alrighty. But anyway, this is one of the reasons why she has lots of supporters. She also has a lot of haters. Okay. Because she says so herself. When we go over, when I go over to view her YouTube channel. Yes, she has one. Look her up. All right. Um, and she also has an Instagram account as well. So Google her. I'm sure you'll find her. All right. Um, but going back to the article, it says, um, and many of the fans credit her for keeping the show entertaining. Although she gets a lot of love on social media, Heavenly also has her share of critics. Okay. We call them haters. I'm uh, pretty much in the content creator world. That's what we call them. They're another here. We have some that are here for us. We have some that are against us. And then we have the ones who straddle the fence. All right. It just is what it is. But going back to the commentary she wrote up in her article. She says, and her critics feel like she takes things way too far when she's feuding with the other women on the show. So they call her out on social media often. After one person accused her of being a bully on the show, Heavenly responded, and she told the person that they should understand what she does on the show is just for entertainment. Now, sometimes out of heaven, you saying what you say on the show, you be really meaning it. And it be some disgusting, foul things you say about some of your co-workers, okay? Don't always say it, even though you try to jump to that as a defense. Oh, I was just joking. Y'all can't take me serious. Did that in the third. No, Dr. Heavenly. Those who can see, see. And those who can hear, hear. They know when you be bullshitting. And then they know when you just telling the truth. You're just doing it very rudely. And then we do know when you're just playing and just talking out the side of your neck just to get a laugh. Okay? But 
anyway moving from that situation we have on her instagram account they have a screenshot of her saying hmm i'm sure you're not educated or you would know this was entertainment people who are not educated always get upset when someone who is mentions it now see that's just being sarcastic and just full of shit dr heaven you didn't have to go off on that person like that just like you make your own opinions other people have opinions too Sometimes you seem to make yourself the butt of the jokes because you make yourself seem like you're the truth speaker. You the one dropping the true tea. And sometimes it's not always that cut and dry. All right. But going back to the first um, part of her article, because I went to the last part. My fault. I get down like that sometimes. I'm sorry. And just like I said, Amanda Anderson Niles was the person who wrote up this article for Urban Bell magazine. She must be the only one that covers certain topics or certain subject matter topics. And they just give it to her. But it is what it is. She's a good correspondent writer. I love all her commentary. I take her commentary, give her credit, and then I put my own spin on it. Okay? But anyway. Anyway, thank you, Amanda Anderson, for this nice story on Dr. Heavenly on her response to all the backlash that she is getting. Now, if we go on to the first part of the article, I'm sorry I gave y'all the second part of the article, but y'all know I get forgetful sometimes. Sometimes these little Twitter hands or these little hands on my phone don't always act accordingly. But anyway, it says Married to Medicine star Dr. Heavenly uh kim's kimes doesn't back down from feuds she's also quick to speak her mind when it comes to other cast members and she definitely does doesn't mind clapping back when she gets good and ready and we do know that we do know she be all up in the kool-aid hell when ain't nobody even coming for her she be all in defense of anybody trying to comfort dr jack Ooh, child that's her pet pee that's what cringes her toes when you go and mess and say something foul about dr jack she act like she married a Dr. Jack. I'm like, last time I saw you had two boys and a girl. And your husband of the leader of the pack was named Dam- Damon. Now, uh, you are his wife and his partner, his lover, his forever everything. Why are you riding so hard for Dr. Um, Jack? And she has a husband. All right. I can definitely ride for her, but you ride for Jacka like she is your doggone husband or something. But anyway, that's my sidebar, not in Amanda's article. Okay, but we go back to her article and it says there are the reason these are the reasons why she has a lot of supporters, but she also has critics too. Some feel like she crosses the line with her actions on the show and they aren't here for how she handles people she's at odds with. After a fan of the show called her out about this, she responded. And that's with that slight shady comment she wrote on her Instagram account back to that uh, critic or uh, viewer of her content on her Instagram account. That's me saying um, Dr. Hamlin just don't take accountability for what she says and what, and she won't own up to it. Now, when a, she gets a lot of backlash, a lot of people start coming for her, then she want to flip the script and say, well, y'all know I was playing. That was just entertainment. <laughs> and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, stop it with that laugh, Dr. Hamlin. Just stop it because that, that cringes me sometimes. Okay, you know, I do have my pet peeves too. But I'm like, the fault and fragile, uh, the fake fraudulent fuck foolishness you got going over there the four p the four elephants that i be getting down with over here okay fake fraudulent foolery fuckery that you be doing not just you it'd be several other people but we're not talking about them right now dr heavenly we're talking about you and how you get down you don't want to accept accountability when people are up in your ass getting getting you together then you go blame no it's just entertainment y'all don't understand what i meant to say did that and third no say what you say and say what you mean okay that's your character that's your demeanor get down with it good got it all right let us see it okay we don't want to come back after you don't floated your mouth out there you don't say it piss poor stuff and you don't uh create a whole foulness uh, to your demeanor when you're speaking on certain people that you're trying to get together and then you want to pull it back after a day or two people don't got on your behind on your social media's platform giving you a taste of your own medicine then you want to fall back and say oh no i didn't mean it this way oh no i didn't you know it's just like crazy it's crazy is as crazy it does and you be all crazy sometimes start to heaven sometimes you be crazy so 
I need you to get it together. I need you to pull it back. And I need you to do the think before you react. That's what I'm asking. Okay. That's what I'm asking for you. And me and some of these friendships. I mean, if y'all just co-workers, y'all just get on this show and y'all just let have. I and mean, y'all don't break bread with each other. That's the uh, person she was getting nasty with that kind of got on her social media platform and tried to get her together. Yeah, that's what. Uh, and if you follow her, you sure follow her. And then you can see all the stuff she tweets out on twitter or she goes on instagram and puts file stuff out before bloggers get it and be ready to put it in commentary okay such as myself i'm always late because i ain't on nobody's platform it has to come across in my uh social media platform of who's i'm signed up to and the different vloggers uh like urban bell uh Lana black star uh media takeout um and some more salacious popular superstars vlog and stuff you know, when I see something I like or I feel like I need to speak my mind on or whatnot and I don't want to be talking to myself and my mama really don't give a crap. Okay, she 80 years old, she's living her best life. She ain't got time for me fooling around about what these folk doing on TV and this, that, and the third. So I really can't talk to her. So that's why I'm coming to you all, my secondary family. Okay, my family of fails out there. I'm my family. Okay, I need to talk to y'all and get in them comments. Y'all discuss that with me. All this foolishness going on with Dr. Hevelin and her co uh, stars, constituents, or colleagues, however she looks at them when she's at work over there at Married of Medicine. Now, I've told you how Dr. Simone felt about it. I told you how Dr. Jack felt about it. And now I'm telling you how Dr. Heavenly feel about this girl code, okay? To me, every last one of them have broken the girl's code. None of them are subject to being called foul because they have all have signed, said and done things to each other on the show. So I'm a little bit more prevalent and pronounced than others. But yet all of them have had their ways of negativity on the show. And we just give it to what it is. The ones that are squeaking very loudly. We do have to uh, make more content on them and give up give our perspectives or our uh, backlashes to they behinds when they just showing a pre-natural born ass out here. Then we just got to try to get them together here and there. Okay, lightly, lightly, lightly. Give them food for thought and hopefully they'll prevail and do better. But then again, if they want to come and give all that drama, that all that uh, ratchetness, then I'm here for it too. But it's a certain degree to what I can stand. And then I have to put my two cents in. Okay, now if you're asking for it, you're going to get it. All day, every day. I understand that. But when you ain't even got anybody that's in your target zone because everybody just you know living their best life trying to give what they can give on the reality show but you're gonna come out real nasty and foul and just degrade everybody then yep i'm like the white horse coming in saving people <laughs> Because Lord knows I got a mop on me and I ain't got none but time half the time. All right. So I'll, I'll be glad to call a spade a spade anytime, any day, whether it's in my personal life or it's in my business life or it's in my entertainment life. Yes, you can get it if you ask for it. How they say you keep poking the bear, the, the bear's going to raise up from that sleep and they're going to be mad because they weren't raised up by themselves or with the Lord. Okay, with the Lord waking them up. You woke them up. Okay. That's called uh, unrest. That's called disturbing the sleeping people okay but anyway y'all get down in the comment y'all comments and y'all let me know what y'all thought about subject matter how y'all felt about it who do y'all feel is basically the one who's just totally not loyal i would love to hear your interactions and see your interactions as well but i'll see y'all next video talk to y'all soon you know i will and um uh, we'll dialogue later on okay bye bye guys oh and don't forget to subscribe 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 share and like my videos all right bye